My friends, please welcome Debbie Allen. And thank you for that warm welcome, Sharon. And thank you so much, and good evening. I'm so happy to be here to celebrate the excellence of our public school educators who are the backbone of the success of this country. I know how, yes, that's right, you want to give yourself applause. I know how important you are because I am a product of public school education. Yes! I grew up in Houston, Texas in the late Hello, yes! <laughs> I love this room, I love the way it echoes. This is, you know I can start singing right now, you know, oh. I know, it's not about me. But I grew up in Houston, Texas in the late 50s and 60s when the civil rights movement was taking hold of this country like brush fire. And my teachers were all on a first name basis with my parents. That was the kind of time it was. It was a time when segregation was the norm, but it was in public schools that I ignited my study of literature and music and joined the orchestra playing the bass, the biggest instrument I could find. It was in public schools that I sharpened my dance skills as a cheerleader, yes. <laughs> and as queen, I was the drum majorette striding in front of a 70-piece band on Thanksgiving Day Parade, and if anything got me ready for the Academy Awards, it was that. <laughs> that. If you didn't drop your baton on Thanksgiving, you, you could make it in this world. It was in public schools that I learned the beginnings of Spanish and German and realized that the world was a much wider place than Houston, Texas. And uh, to my favorite teachers, uh, I want to thank them because they made me understand, understand what it was to be a community. I, I want to take this moment and say thank you to Mr. Harrison, Ms. Lockhart, Ms. Mitchell, Ms. Sheila, Ms. Whedon, and so many more. Thank you for helping to develop my mind and delivering me into this world as Debbie Allen. <laughs> We have got to keep the energy and the love and the support to our public school system. This is where most of our genius is going to come from. Let us be very clear. Right after elementary, junior high, and high school, I went to Howard University, right here. So with all of those incredible teachers, it was how I framed and formed my true cultural identity. And those teachers and professors have been my mentors from fame to Amistad to a different world to now Gray's Anatomy, which is a teaching hospital. <laughs> I can't get away from the teaching thing. I love it. So I give much honor and grace to my teachers and all of you. <laughs> 